All right, this is a uh, warm-up problem. Uh, given two strings, S and T, return true if T is an anagram of S and false otherwise. Um, yeah, so there's two factors that would make two words an anagram. Uh, they have to have the same number of letters, and they have to have the same number of each letter, uh, which is the perfect time for a hash map. Uh, so first, I would just do a quick check um, that they're the same length. So I just say if um, length s does not equal length of t, we don't even have to try the rest of it. Um, the other thing that we would then do is just um, uh, so the intu the intuitive path would be to go through all the letters and see if they exist in the other letters, but that would be o s times t or o n squared. Um, it would definitely be o n squared in this case because uh, for every you know since by this point they had the same number of letters. It would be O n squared, O n squared. So, or so it would be O n squared to go through every n letters n times. Uh, so what we could do instead, also that um, would be troublesome because what if there are two letters? Like what if there's um, two m's but there's one m over here? Uh, so you look at these two m's and you're like, is there an m here? Yeah, and then is there an m here? And it's the same m but you count it twice. So then you'd have to maybe delete letters and uh, that gets costly out of a string because deleting means that you have to shift all those indices and it can be up to an on time uh, process. So by that point, we're looking at like on squared, on to the third actually if we're deleting letters. So uh, what do we do instead? We can just, uh, all we need to do is just count all letters and um, make sure that they have the same um, number of letters. So we can just... Uh, so for, you know, if there's two M's in S, there needs to be two M's in T, and a hash map is the best way to do that. More specifically, a default dictionary. Um, a default dictionary is great because it'll just, um, what was it? You don't have to check if it's in the dictionary. It's, it pre-initializes all of them. So if you try to add um, a, to a count and it's not there yet, well, it initializes as zero. So that's good. So we could say S counts. Um, and t counts equals default dict int and default dict int. Okay, so now for um, c for a character in s, we'll just say s counts c plus equals one, um, and then we'll do the same thing for t. Um, so, because they're default dictionaries, we don't have to uh, initialize those values. If they were just regular dictionaries, we would have to initialize the value by saying, is C in there? If it is, increment it by 1. Otherwise, we would just say, um, set it to 1 to give it a starting point. But this way, it works out. Um, so now, we could, I think we could just compare the two counts. Um, so we could just say, return S counts equals T counts. I think that would work. Yep. There we go.